If you look at the equation which is at the front of the thumbnail, now that's a fairly complex looking equation. Uh, if you look at either the left or the right hand side of that equation, these are, you know, what you find is fairly non-trivial relationships in the two variables x and y. But we would still want to try and make some sense of it, try and get some sense of what it actually represents. The simplest thing we can do to start with is just to simply plot it. We've got this slightly complicated looking equation and we need to uh, make some sense of it. So on the left hand side here we've got x squared plus y squared minus 1 whole cubed and on the right hand side here we've got x squared uh, times y cubed. So the first thing we can do is take this uh, expression here and put it on the left hand side. Well frankly it doesn't really make much of a difference but uh, it gives us something to do. So we have uh, x square plus y square minus 1 whole cubed minus x square y cubed is equal to 0. Now essentially what we are after are uh, values of x and y such that when we plug in the values of x and y uh, into this expression here, the right hand side equals to 0. The first thing to do is usually to look for simple solutions. So we will start by looking for uh, integer solutions. Right? These are sort of simple solutions that we can look for. So essentially we are after integer values of x and integer values of y such that when we plug those integer values into this equation, the right hand side equals to 0. So let's uh, put in x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0. So we'll get 1 plus 0 minus 1, so that is 0, minus 1 times 0, which is 0. So essentially, x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 0 is a solution. Now, in a similar manner, we can actually find other integer solutions. So uh, we can verify that minus 1 and 0 is also a solution. 1 and 1 is also a solution. Minus 1 and 1 is a solution. 0, 1, 0, minus 1 are all solutions. Now, we've already plotted this. Uh, but it doesn't give us a full picture of what the graph might look like. So what we highly recommend that you do is uh, get yourself some pen, paper, perhaps a calculator and try and fill this graph out yourself. We'll be back after the pause to actually show you what the graph looks like. When you initially looked at the equation, I don't think you would have realized that this complicated looking equation just represents a simple heart.